Hello friends and other relations and welcome back to Surviving Block Story. We were about to induce Spider Massacre, which sounds horrible, but it's not that bad. Okay. Let's see here. Is this working? Okay. Come on. Oh, I put all of them up? There's no way I put all of them up. I did. I'm confused. I'm so confused. That does not look 10 spider webs high. Like at all. I think I found a glitch. I think I found a glitch. Okay, what was the song I was trying for? I have no idea. But there's some poison. Which is what I was really looking for, not a glitch. Goblins! You're doing so great! Keep it up! Whoa. It's gonna be really hard to get rid of those um webs after the fact. So many so many spiders dying. <laughs> I'm so sad. I feel like an exterminator. In the best way, of course. Come on, spider. Don't run. <laughs> Come along. Huh. Not bad for just punching spiders. Uh, you can run, but you can't hide. Actually, you probably could, but... I mean, you're a spider. Spiders hide all the time. That's literally how they catch their prey, by hiding in a trap. And then waiting for a bug to spring it. It's kind of interesting, actually, that so many spiders have that technique. Because there's so many different kinds of spiders and so many variations on that technique, but it's not like... I don't know, it's, it's just... it's weird to me. How many spiders are in this mosh pit? Oh, just two. Okay. Punching is slow. I'm gonna pull out my swords. <laughs> That's much faster. The bodies are piling up faster than I can... Are you attack? No, okay. Who? You're just doing that weird thing where you hit the ground with your sword. And then look at what... <laughs> and then look at it. <laughs> And then look at the ground. What happened? What? What? Why didn't it change? Why didn't the ground die? Are you secretly trying to fight the Earth? Trying to kill Mother Gaia? Except this probably isn't Earth, huh? We've been talking in the forums about how the, the planet that's up in the sky sometimes when you're playing Block Story kind of looks like Earth. I'm wondering if maybe it is. Because <laughs> that'd be cool. And uh, uh, in keeping with my idea that Block Story is just a version of the afterlife and your character is actually dead, um, I, I kind of incorporated that idea into the forums too by posting the question, if you died and went to Block Story, what would you do first? Because um, that seemed to fit in with the idea. Come on, I need more spider venom. Maybe I should kill Aragogs instead of spiders. Aragogs drop, drop poison, right? I feel pretty sure they do. Hmm. 18? Really? 18. Well, you know what? There's an Aragog right over there. Ooh. I'm gonna have... They drop so many fangs and so few poisons. Like, how many things do I have right now? 20. Okay, maybe that's not that much more. Still. Aragog is down here. So, maybe if I kill Aragog... Where is he? That's... There we go. See? Maybe he'll drop more poison. What? I feel close to you. Why am I not close enough for a hit? There we go. Oh, you were close enough for a hit. 
Don't jump on me. How rude. Oh! I died. I died. You know what I need? I need some help. Whoa! Back off! Where's the one that's... Oh, there we go. Thank you. Drop some poison. No? They're not very cooperative. Drop your poison! Now! Okay, I was not aiming for the dead spider in front of me. This is a legitimate problem. So many corpses that I can't get to the real sp spiders that need killed. The, the living ones, I mean. Stop it. I'm trying to go fight Aragog. Give me the fang. I know I don't need it. I'm just... I'm OCD and I need to collect things. I'm going to bring Ted with me this time. Come here, Ted. You are going to help me. Help me defeat a monstrosity. An abomination. Something that should never have existed, but somehow does. Something that wreaks havoc in the caves and forests of this world. Who would have known that in what dreams came after my life has ended, this would serve to be at the forefront. I'm so poetic. Grandpa Giggles, what are you doing down here? Your presence is a mystery to me. Come here, Aragog, I am not your boss, but you're not my boss either, so it's kind of odd that you call yourself that, but I'm okay with that, if you want to say that you're the boss, that's just fine, I just don't expect me to repeat it, because I have not to receive a paycheck from you. Uh, I mean, you can't have epic music without a choir. Unfortunately, you also can't have a choir or me just be singing. So, um, friends and other relations, you can join in. You have to include the da da duns. They're very important. And the ooze. The ooze are very important. They did a whole ninja. They did a whole Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie based on that idea that the ooze are important. Gator shoes. Those are green. Yes, I went into thrift shop because that's what that tune always reminds me of. The climax of the enemy, the the boss theme, reminds me of Macklemore's thrift shop. Listen to it. It it totally is like the same. It's really cool. I I don't know why it's like that, but I I love that it is. Thank you for distracting Eric. Get, get a, come on. You are much too big to be a proper jumping spider, and yet you jump all over the place. Oh, you think you you think you are gonna kill me? Well, you probably would have if I hadn't noticed just a second ago. Ted, hey bud. Ted Anvil, you're a great man. Standing there like an anvil for the Aragog hammer. Oh, that's what I'm gonna call you now, Aragog. The hammer! Ooh, did I get some iron? No, I just got some coal. That's okay, coal's good too. You need coal for engines. Come on, give me the poison! And. Come on, every. Every serious villain always has a moment where he asks the good guy to pick his poison. Well,. I want my poison. I came to pick it up. I want the one that you drop, and that your spider buddies drop. It's very important to me, so give it up. I've got this sword, and I'm clearly not afraid to use it because I keep using it. Come on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Death to dead spider. There we go. Was there any poison? Come on. There was a little bit. That really isn't worth it. Oh, there's poison here. Thank you, Ted's. Hey, excuse me. I'm gonna... I'm gonna skedaddle. Because I don't have time to fight another Aragog at the moment. And I'm running out of dragon hearts anyway. Look at the swampiness. Your beautiful swampiness. 
Thank you, friends and other relations, for watching. I hope you're having a good day. You know, not like one of those bad days. Ugh. Yeah. Mm, sorry. Don't even... <laughs> shouldn't even mention those. Anyhow. <laughs> hope you're having a good day. I will see you anon. Go on a fun adventure. And yeah. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.